We need some additional doors facing the canopy. Let's use sliding doors for this purpose. Open the Door Default Settings dialog. If you would like to skip to the next step, you can apply the exterior sliding door favorite from the Lesson 10 Favorites folder. Type sliding in the search field to find the sliding doors in the library. Select the sliding door and set up the following parameters. Width 2880 Height 2400 Silt to Story 0, 0 Reveal to Wall Core, minus 100 Anchor, Side 2 Go to the Fixtures and Fittings page Uncheck the Casing Outside and Inside checkboxes Then click OK Hover the cursor over the bottom left inside corner of the walls and press the Q key to mark it as the snap point. Then, using the snap guideline, move the cursor on the external face of the transverse wall and type Y100+. Hit Enter and click on the upper left side of the door to define the opening direction. Before placing the door into the longitudinal wall, change the anchor in the info box to side 1. Once again, place the door to the right of the left inside corner, but using an X100 plus coordinate input. Move the cursor, and click to the lower right side to define the opening direction. Use the same coordinate input as you did for the first door to place the door in the right-hand transverse wall. Click on the upper right corner for the correct opening direction. To finalize the door arrangement, let's move multiple copies of an existing door. Select the sliding door in the longitudinal wall segment and press Control command plus U to bring up the Multiply dialog. Set Distribute as the method, and 2 as the number of copies. Uncheck the Pick Path Before Input checkbox. Choose None for the rotation of copies, and click OK. Click on the upper right corner of the door, then hover the cursor over the bottom left inside corner of the walls, type 100-, and hit Enter to distribute the sliding doors evenly. Hit Escape to remove the selection. You can change the 3D opening angle independently of the 2D representation. This way you can use the same element for visualization purposes. Open the 3D window, select a sliding door, and move the opening hotspot to define an opening width. Deselect the door, and go back to the floor plan. As you can see, there are no changes in the door's 2D symbol.